Hey team, it's Sonny Webster here, 2016 Olympian and founder of the Mobility Manual. I've helped thousands of people around the world improve their mobility for their sport specific movement. You're gonna to wanna to watch this video and join along if you've been struggling with your overhead mobility, finding it difficult in any of the Olympic movements or any other sport specific movements for that matter. I'm gonna be taking you through a short float that you can follow along with. It's gonna free up those shoulders and get you feeling more comfortable when overhead and reduce your risk of injury. So follow along with me now. So before we get started, you're gonna need a little bit of equipment to follow along with this float. You've gotta remember, if we're mobilizing for Olympic weightlifting, it has to be specific to the positions that we wanna be in when we're doing any of the sports practices of the Olympic weightlifting. So therefore, we're using a barbell, we're gonna be loading in a few of these exercises, and the intensity of them is much harder than general flexibility of stretching. So we've got our barbell, we've got some small discs, I've got a mat here, I've got a roller and a 10 kilo disc. All of this equipment should be easy for you to find if you're in a gym setting. If you're not, you can substitute using the, P the bar for a PVC pipe or a broomstick at home, and then maybe a couple of pillows and then a couple of books to do the right backs exercise. The first drill we're gonna be going through is bar Ws. So this is a great one if in any of your sports practices or your Olympic weightlifting, you have to take the barbell overhead. It allows us to get used to this range of motion without actually being in the vulnerable position or the bottom of the snatch. So we're just gonna lay onto our backs to begin with. We're gonna take a nice wide grip on the barbell, kind of similar to our snatch grip. And from here, we're gonna be extending to our overhead position. Why would you focus on here is staying in a locked out position and then pulling the bar back down, elbows all the way down into the rib cage, holding for a split second, and then pressing through again into our overhead position. You should feel this in the front of the shoulder, mid to upper back, especially when you get to that end of range, and potentially through the shoulders in the locked out position. I'm focusing on staying externally rotated and keeping my elbows up off the mat as I'm going through this range. So we're just gonna go for 15 repetitions, nice and slowly working through here. You wanna maybe lift the head up very slightly as you come back down to the traps here to make sure that you can touch all the way there, as far down the back as possible. So just continue through now with me for those 15 reps. As it starts to ease and you get comfortable working through this range of motion, it's especially important if you're overhead in any snatch movements, you should be able to find that that last end of range here towards the traps is getting a little bit easier for you now. I'm trying to think about pulling my belly button down into the floor as well while I'm doing that so I'm not extending or lifting my belly, but belly button up towards the ceiling. So just one more repetition for me here. Hold at that end of range and relax. Okay, so that's finished up the bar doubles, Ws for us. Like I said, I felt in the shoulder, a little bit in the front of the chest, but predominantly freeing up the shoulders and getting them working through that range of motion that we're gonna be in when we're loading overhead. So the next exercise that we're gonna have a little look at now here is called right backs. So again, this is a great one for that overhead mobility. I'm gonna be placing the roller, just in mid to upper back. Again, if you don't have a roller, you can substitute this for a couple of pillows or even a wobble when you're doing this exercise. I've bent my knees up here like so. And then I'm gonna be taking my 10 kilo disc, five kilo disc is also ample for this. And I'm then gonna be taking that plate back behind the head, keeping the arms as straight as possible, holding for a split second, and then returning to in front of me. So again, I'm starting to feel this when I get to the end of the range in the lats. Something that I know if my lats are tight, it's going to affect my ability to be strong in my overhead position. And then returning back in front of me. This is quite challenging for me, even with the 10 kilo disc. I can feel my core working over time to try and keep my spine in a neutral position, which is really important. Okay, so I'm just going to go for 10 repetitions on this exercise. Hold at that end of range and return. So you just want to be testing yourself each time you go back, just trying to get a little bit further whilst keeping the arms straight. Just three more reps.
And last repetition for me now here. Good. And relax there. So we're just going to take a short rest now. The next exercise that we're going to be going on to now is called plate raises. Again, five to 10 kilo discs will be absolutely ample for this. And what I'm going to do on my mobility mat here is just take my feet so they're just outside the edges of the mat. Now the reason why I love this exercise is to help develop stability and strength when we're in the overhead position. One of the key reasons why people struggle when they're overhead, especially in a loaded environment such as Olympic weightlifting, is they don't have the strength and stability to hold in these positions. So it's really important when we're thinking about mobilizing for Olympic weightlifting that we add a level of intensity that replicates the sports practice, which is what I do in the mobility manual. So we're gonna be starting here with the flats of the hands or holding around the side of the disc like so. And then from here, we're gonna be sitting up, pushing that plate towards the ceiling and then holding our uh, end of range here. You can see I'm focusing on shoving the plate back behind the head here into a good solid lockout position and then controlling the way back down to the mat. I'll then take it out over the head and sit up again and hold. Again, lower under control. We're going to do for 10 repetitions here and sit up and hold. The really important part of this exercise is this, the finishing pose here. We're thinking about pushing that plate towards the ceiling and then coming back down under control. You might feel like your abdominals get a little bit of a workout here too, which is great. All important parts of stability when you're in your overhead position, just make sure you sit all the way up to this lockdown position. So we're going to go for five more reps. If you feel a little bit more comfortable doing these a little bit quicker, that's absolutely fine. You can gather that momentum, help you sit through to that top position. Hold the lock out. Great. And relax there. So that's our 10 reps. Get comfortable holding in that locked out position. At the end of the range, it's one of the biggest mistakes I see beginners making when they're starting Olympic weightlifting, not spending enough time loaded in that lockout position. The more time you can spend there, the more stability and strength you're gonna gain, especially when you're new to any overhead movements, okay? So the next exercise that we're gonna move on to now is called Cradle Rock. So this is gonna free up the front of the shoulder and the chest as well. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna place your hands on the mat like so, and we're gonna come up onto our feet. From here, we're gonna make a bridge position, and you'll probably feel straight away that pulling down the front of the shoulders. You're then gonna rock forward and back like so. Use your hamstrings to pull you back in the line there, and travel knees over toes. Feel that stretching down the bicep, and in the front of the shoulder. So we're just gonna go for 10 repetitions. Try and keep those hips nice and high as you're rocking through here. Again, whenever we're doing any of these overhead movements, focusing on keeping those arms locked out, not bent, throughout any of these ranges, is super important. Don't worry if the range of motion that you're working through at the moment isn't super long. Just work where it's comfortable for you. Do a little balance this through here. So I'm just going for 15 repetitions here. Starting from the front of my chest. Loosen up now. Good. One more. Brilliant. And we're going to relax down there. Four. The next exercise that we're going to have a little look at now, we're going to recruit our roller back in the game now, which is super handy for this next drill. Okay, if you don't have a roller, I'm going to show you an alternative to that would work great if you do have your barbell. But what we're going to do is focus on keeping the palms facing up now and the knees just outside the shoulder. We're going to have the palms facing up. We're going to reach through towards the wall in front of us, letting that chest drop down towards the floor, rock back, and then perform the same movement. 
Feel the stretch there in the lats, start to get that thoracic extension happening, which is really important when we're in the weight thing, especially if we want to become comfortable in the overhead. Arms are staying locked out. I even feel this a little bit in my triceps as well as we go through this range. And I'll just go for 15 reps again. Drop that chest as close to the floor as possible. Again, the key thing for me when it comes to improving this shoulder mobility is consistency. Putting these sort of flows in prior to your training sessions is key. We want to increase the range of motion that we have in the shoulders before we actually load through them. Which is why it's great if you're gonna become more consistent with your mobility, that you are assessing the range of motion that you have now, so that you can see continual progress and the benefits that it has carrying over into your Olympic lifts or any other sport specific movements when you're loaded under head, overhead. Now, if you didn't have a roller for that last exercise, another great alternative to this is to use the barbell and place the grip with the palms facing up. From here, you're then gonna drop the chest down and perform the same movement. We're just trying to get to the point where arms are locked out straight and then rocking through like so. Okay, so like I said, that's a great alternative that you can finish on there. One of the final drills, it's a little bit more challenging, so it's a little bit of a testing one to finish on today that I'd love you to try and get in the habit of doing is called hurdle press. So either leave the little weights on or start with an empty bar, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your hurdle position. It's probably easiest you bring the bar around in front of you first to begin. You have one leg out, toes pointing up, and then you're gonna tuck your back leg behind you, okay? So I'm feeling that now in the top of the hip here. I'm trying to sit nice and tall in this bottom position. And then I'm gonna take my barbell and pass it behind my head like so. For me now, I'm gonna be working my hips, my ductors, my hamstrings, my thoracic spine, as well as my shoulders now to press into this overhead position. So again, extremely sport specific for any loaded exercises overhead and we're just gonna finish with 10 repetitions here. As I'm going through this pressing motion overhead, I'm focused on keeping the elbows directly underneath the bar, controlling the eccentric phase and letting the wrist sit back. We know when we're overhead with the barbell, letting the wrist sit back will help us get into a much more comfortable lockout position. So I'm just gonna finish now my last couple of reps. And that's it. And we're gonna relax there. So that's it, we've completed our short mobility flow there, specifically on the overhead elements and any loaded exercises or sport specific movements overhead. Like I said to you during this video, being consistent with these flows, running back through those exercises that we did two or three times before a training session is gonna free up those shoulders, increase your range of motion before you start loading it, which is gonna result in reduced chance of injury, but also allow you to perform better technique, which is extremely important for me in a technical sport like Olympic weightlifting. So if you enjoyed this video and it's made you feel really good before you get stuck into a training session today, then be sure to go and check out the mobility manual and in specifics, my overhead mobility protocol. It's a 14 day plan which gives you a whole array of different exercises and flows to follow that you can do before your training session. Like I said, this is gonna to lead to having better sports performance and reduce that risk of injury. So just hit the link below this video and go and check it out. If not, then don't forget to go and check out my other videos on mobility, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video.